These days, you all must have seen or at least familiar with moving or animated illustration. They are mostly animated using Live 2D. But before making an animated illustration, you need an illustration. And Clip Studio Paint is one of the excellent painting software. There are a lot of tools prepared for you to paint and wide range of customization available. And there are tons of assets you can download for free. We are using Clip Studio Paint to make an illustration today. Today's table of contents is as follows. A. Getting to know Live 2D B. Example of Live 2D illustration prepping C. Process of making an illustration for Live 2D model A. Getting to know Live 2D Live 2D is the process of working with 2D illustration so that it can move as if coming to life. To be able to set up these parameters for moving, we have to rig them first. Rigging is a technical process that is different process from drawing illustrations. For those interested, you can learn more on the official website of Live 2D. Link in description. In the present, we can see Live 2D being used most frequently in games and as VTuber Awata. I'm able to move around right now thanks to Live 2D as well. To make illustration moves, we can animate them or even make them move using tracking software. For the illustrations to move, we have to prepare them accordingly, also making rigging easier. This brings us to today's topic. B. Example of Live 2D illustration prepping. We will be using PSD file or the Photoshop file. Since the PSD file can contain multiple layers, we need this feature in order to work seamlessly in Live 2D. Unlike usual illustrations where we have a layer for line art, colors, and shading, each layer will contain separate parts. When separating each part, you have to think about the character's movement. There will be parts such as joints and parts that are hidden behind one another. Sometimes, even line and color are separated for the purpose of making different effects. If there are additional expressions or poses, we can make new layers containing the new parts and alter them while animating in Live 2D as well. And each layer have to be properly named. The number of layers differs depending on how much the illustration will be moving. If there is little motion, the number of layers will be low. Whilst delicate and complex movements require lots of layers and parts, this process will make it easier to work with and also increases the smoothness of movement. Too many layers may become unnecessary, resulting in confusion and making the process more difficult. To prevent that, consulting the Live 2D artist beforehand will help with planning and work efficiency. C. Process of making an illustration for Live 2D model As I said before, today we will use Clip Studio Paint to make an illustration. I will try to introduce tools and settings that will help your work go smoothly. For this video, we'll be focusing on prepping model art for Live 2D Awata. In case of making a motion illustration, the process will be similar but planning movements will be a little different. There are two main approaches in prepping the model. One, draw each part separately. Two, draw the model as a whole, then separate the parts later. We are going to use approach one for today. The steps will be as follow. One, character design and sketching the actual illustration. Two, parts and structure planning, preparing layers and folders. Three, line art and filling in base color. Four, shading. Five, prep the layers for Live 2D. One, character design, sketching the actual illustration. When designing a character, what's important is the preferences of the designer. The key color palette should be assigned and finalized. Deciding this beforehand will prevent complications, such as 
inconsistency of colors in different parts, and if parts are drawn before colors are decided, then corrections would take time. Additionally, sketching character expressions might help Life 2D artists to try to rig and set up parameters as close to the original as possible. Before sketching, this checkpoint needs to be reviewed first. Canvas side should be divisible by 100 so that it is easier to set up a grid in both Clip Studio and Live 2D, and should be large enough so that the illustration doesn't become pixelated when zoomed in. The model should be placed on the center of the canvas. It can be checked by setting grid to 100 pixels and or positioning them to the center. Understanding that when we name and positioning left and right of the character, it is from the character's viewpoint, not the viewer's. Using symmetrical ruler when sketching can help in balancing the model. When sketching, feel free to use any tool you like. The liquify tool is helpful to adjust the image. We may sketch the hidden parts to make the line art process easier. Turn off snap to special ruler when you want to draw asymmetrically. Additionally, outline the shading roughly as well. 2. Parts and structure planning preparing layers and folders. Plan roughly about how parts are going to be separated, consider joints, overlapping parts, etc. Start creating layer folders from the back to the front, most visible parts. While arranging the layers, rename them accordingly and try not to use an existing name for more than once. Then group and organize them. When naming folders, using L underscore and R underscore will help distinguish left and right parts of the characters. And remember that this left and right is not from the viewer's point of view, but the characters. When grouping, use GRP to label the grouping folder and set the group color. In this process, there may be errors in messing up the order of layers. Just sort them patiently, and even if there are still layers in the wrong order, while coloring, we can still fix them later. So don't stress too much if there are still errors left. Eyes and mouth layers For a smoother workflow, eyes and mouth should consist of at least this much of parts, as seen in the slide. You can make more parts according to your model plan. And remember to label left and right side. Three. Line art and filling in base color. Turn the sketch into a sketch layer. Decrease the layer's opacity and arrange it on the very top. Make a new layer for line art in the folder created previously. Starting from the very back of the parts, in this process, we are using the vector layer to line art. Once line art is done, create a raster layer and fill in the base color as design. When using the fill tool, we will customize the tool as follows. Make sure fill up to vector path and include vector path is checked. This helps close the gap usually left empty close to the line. Anti-aliasing should be off in case we have to make changes in color if it is on. When filling and refilling the color, there may be some previous color left, forming an unwanted edge. You can either fill our base color on a single layer or on multiple layers. However, keep in mind that more layers sometimes make the process more complex. In our case, we fill color on a single layer. Tips. In case that the left side and right side is the same, we can copy and paste them. 
Select all and flip it horizontally. The part will automatically be placed on the other side, reflected. It will align perfectly if you place the model in the exact center. Without select all before transforming, it will only reference the current layer and will not flip to the opposite side. Remember to select all. And don't forget to change layer name from left to right. For unconnected line, use a hot brush with anti-aliasing off to close off the shape before filling in color. Repeat the process until every folder is filled. While filling in base color, if it happens that there are unused layers or there is the need to create more layers, do them accordingly. For movable cast shadows or other highlights, Life 2D only supports Normal, Multiply, and Screen Blending Mode. Make sure lighting layers are either Multiply or Screen Blending Mode. Other blending modes are not supported by Life 2D and will become a normal layer when imported. 4. Shading We are coloring using cell shade style and we don't want too much of layers. In the example, all the shading is painted in the same layer as the base color. In the case of more detailed coloring, having more layers may be easier to make corrections. At the same time, be careful that the hidden part or joints that their color blends into each other well. We will be using the following tools. Opaque brush with anti-aliasing off, fill tool from the previous step. Selection tool which will select the color which you click on. The tools used can be downloaded in description. Let's start shading. We will start from the very back of the parts to the top parts. The same as how we did in the previous step. Select the color you wish to shade using the selection tool. Then use the brush tool to paint the shadow. Follow it fill tool. Repeat the process until all parts are shaded. You can use select layer tool with the shortcut Control shift to select layer that you want to edit. This way, it's easier to select the layer on working screen instead of finding the layers on the layer panel. If there's gradient or pattern, create a new layer and use clipping or mask or selection tool to help. This method can also be used in making transparent effect. You can drag and drop image material to a layer and use layer mask to control area of the pattern. In case of color correction, even though we have a single layer for color, so shading style color with no anti-aliasing can be replaced completely using the fill tool we made, although we have to correct the other layers manually the same way. Finalizing color when designing can help reduce color correction problems. 5. Prep the layers for Live 2D If anti-aliasing is off when filling base color, we will use smoothing filter to smoothen the edge of shadows and highlights. We have to do this to all the layers. It's a bit boring work, but for us, it is easier to fix if there is any problem when we color. It is up to your decision to turn off anti-aliasing and then smooth them later, or just use anti-aliasing from the start. We have to use smoothing command a lot this time. It will take time to select it from the menu bar. This time, we will use quick access panel to help us work faster. You can click here instead of select in menu bar. The other way is setting shortcut for smoothing command.
And this time, we want to change the line color too. All of the line layers is a vector layer. There is a panel called Search Layer. This way you can select all the vector layers at once. You can select all the vector layer by clicking at the bottom right side from the eye icon. Then drag it to the bottom of the panel. This way, you will select all the active vector layer. But if there is some layer you don't want to change the color, just pick them out manually. But you can't change all the layer color manually at the same time. You need to create auto action to deal with it. So, let's create our own auto actions to change the layer color. At the auto action panel, close button mode. Create new action, then start the recording. Click to active layer color. Select the color you want it to change into. Fill color to the layer color, then stop the recording. Remove unused command in auto action. Now, our auto action is done. We will use this action to our vector layer. After selecting them, use the auto action that we just created. Now the colors of all the layers should change. Save our files as a separate PSD for backup purpose. We will then merge layers of each part Leave the grouping folders untouched. Remembering shortcuts will help speed this process. Then, we will check if there are color stain or any holes in our models. Select top folder layers of this file. In layer properties, click on the border effect Choose a saturated color and thicken the border. Our flow and stain will be easier to spot. To be extra careful, checking each layer using alternate and click on the eye icon of the layer will show a selection of the content of that layer. If there is an overflow or a stain, erase them. Summary of today Planning is very important for making illustration for Live 2D model. There will be a huge amount of layers, and correcting mistakes may become a hassle, especially for complex illustrations. Drawing the whole illustration or model and cutting them into parts afterward may be a better approach when there is a lot of painting and gradients, including lots of colors blending. Layer masks may come in handy. Naming and arranging layers in order neatly will allow the next person working on the model to work easier. Consulting live 2D artists beforehand and planning together might help increase efficiency have fun making your illustrations come to life using Live 2D. And if you still haven't purchased Clip Studio Paint, you can try Clip Studio Paint with free trial version on the official website. The link can be found in the description. See you next time!